and we're going to give him his proper salute that he's, you know, that he gave the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice to us. The Chicago Fire Department is mourning the loss of one of its members today. Lieutenant Kevin Ward has died from injuries suffered battling a house fire. We begin there this afternoon. I'm Lourdes Duarte. And I'm Ben Bradley. Thanks for being with us. Ward was injured fighting that fire near O'Hare Airport two and a half weeks ago. WGN Sean Lewis is live at the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office with more on how the fallen lieutenant is being remembered. Lordison Ben, uh, Lieutenant Ward succumbed to his injuries overnight, we're told, surrounded by his family. He joined the Chicago Fire Department in 1996. The procession stretched for blocks, nine miles between Loyola Medical Center in Maywood and the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office on Chicago's west side. God took a good guy. Bob Ahrens, now a retired Chicago firefighter, worked with Lieutenant Kevin Ward at Truck 9 in Norwood, which today is draped in bunting as the department mourns his loss. This hits me, this is, you know, hits, it, hits me in the heart real bad. And we're going to give him his proper salute that he's, you know, that he gave the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice to us. Lieutenant Ward was among three firefighters injured during a house fire on August 11th. While the two others recovered, Ward sustained critical respiratory injuries after becoming trapped in the lower level of the home, surrounded by heavy smoke. His is the third on-duty death in the department this year. It really rings home the fact that fighting fires is dangerous business, and we don't know when we come to work in the morning if we'll return home. This has been a rough year for us. For those who came here today, it is a time to show their respects to a fallen brother and say goodbye. Kevin, we're going to miss you down here, my friend, my brother. You know, we got it from here. We are told that Lieutenant Ward did not have any children. Funeral services have not yet been announced. Lieutenant Ward would have been 59 in November. We are live in the medical district tonight. Sean Lewis, WGN News.